Peace everybody, just a quick video today, Serato Studio has released the new beta version for their new Serato Studio update, I think it's 1.7.3, um, and if you're interested and you're into Serato Studio, I highly recommend getting this, this has some really key updates, uh, so if you're not already in the beta, I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that, so as I was saying, if you're not part of the beta already, you can just quickly go to your account, so go to serato.com, click on your account, uh, and then scroll down on your account until you get to this page here and then look for the download beta just make sure that's turned on and then if you click on download beta it'll take you to here which is where you get the latest version just scroll down to the bottom and you'll get the download here and you can see the new features are drums deck keyboard mode which enables you to move individual drum notes off grid or change the pitch of an individual drum hit so that's pretty important. Um, just please note though that projects and deck presets saved in this version cannot be opened in previous versions. I'm not too sure how many of you guys would be doing that anyways, but yeah, that's just an important thing to know. Click on whatever version you need, Mac OS or Windows, and install that thing. And once that's installed, you'll see a very small difference in the drum deck. Uh, so if you're used to the samples, uh, the sample deck, you'll notice that there is the little keyboard button here now in the drum deck. Now when you click on that and you click on an instrument, you'll see here, if you click on this, the drum deck now becomes like a pitch and you'll see your drum hits are here in the deck and then you can now move them slightly off grid. Now you, at this point you can't zoom in on it. Um, I know that's probably the first thing you're gonna ask, but you can see that it's slightly off the grid and you can nudge it um, either way you wanna go. So I'm just gonna nudge it slightly a little early and you'll hear this one's a little late so nudge it forward a little bit and it, it will try and snap but you can just double click it again and Yeah, and basically any note that you click, that little keyboard note for, if you click it, you'll also be able to pitch it um, by moving it up and down. So let's take something, what else have we got in here? Yeah, this hi-hat, we'll pitch this hi-hat up, shall we? For the sake of this demo, let's maybe move this up. There we go. Closed hat. There we go. So you can see it pitched it up. So that'll be really helpful for like 808s or things like that. The cool thing too about that is if you have an 808, say, in your drum kit, it won't use the pitch and time algorithm, which uh, it does in like the sample deck. So it might have a kind of more punchy sound. Um, I know if quite a few people were, were asking about that. So uh, yeah, if you're more of an 808 user, that might be really key and very helpful for you as well. But I think that's about it uh, for this update. There, if you haven't already got the 16 pad update, I mean, that's out now, so get on that. But that's just all there is really to add to that. I mean, obviously, all the other things that we've added in previous versions will be there for you. So, um, yeah, get cracking. I know um, this has been a, a long requested feature for a lot of people. So I'd like to give a quick shout out to DBRC, Hector Delgado, and all the other people that kind of gave that feedback. Really helpful, and I think this is really going to be a very important update for a lot of us that make beats that aren't always on the grid exactly so you know um, i know you could have recorded in before with just the uh, quantize button turned off but now you can really kind of get a little bit more precise with it so yeah that's all it is real quick update go get it have fun i'm loving it all right peace